my LED slightly glowing so let's test what happened next okay my LED is permanent situation and glowing okay now it's failed some frequency from my remote pressing the button hello viewers this is Tanvir welcome to my channel before see this video you can ensure you are subscribed my channel and also like and share who are new in the channel please subscribe and all our guys please give me a like because if you can like we are motivated for next video to be special in this video now we are going to learn about IR receiver circuit IR means infrared meeting receivers there are two types of receiver circuit available the first two is same category three pin ir receiver this and this and this ir receivers model is 1738 and this is 1838 this is also ir receiver let's have moved the main video section to learn the types of ir receiver circuit what is the reason to use a receiver circuit and what is the circuit biasing for each sensor at first try on this this is two pin ir receiver this is also an infrared receiving circuit that's why uh, there has a two pin that has a normal led spin like uh, anode and cathode but uh, these are not like that because the bigger pin is uh, anode point and the uh, smaller pin is a cathode point but the reason is i am following uh, this is the input anode pin and this is the output anode side you can take the remote signal or any kinds of uh, remotes and ir emitting signal for this and we are take the signal from this pin so have a look in the breadboard section Remember first, this is a note and this is output a note. Now taking a one NPN transistor like BC547, this take to amplify the signal to big appliance. That's why I'm using this. So at first remember the three pins diagram. The one is collector, the second is base, and third is emitter. Okay, my two elements are implanted on bedboard. Now I'm taking two wire from voltage source side. Red wire is positive and black wire is negative also. I'm set this voltage source as a 5 volt now i'm take a one light emitting diode this is led the bigger pin is positive and smaller pin is negative also the positive pin is going to connect emitter of the side my bc547 and negative side negative pin also connect with voltage source negative side okay these are connected these are connected with transistor base with the ir receiver output pin okay my sensor positive pin with connected with voltage source positive side through the orange color connector pin okay my transistor collector pin with connected with voltage size positive through orange connector is this okay my two pin ir receiver sensor circuit slightly biased for test let's test whatever next to emitting to uh, infrared radiation over that for test this circuit i'm using a normal as usual remote there have a ir emitting diode from this i'm taking the radiation from this sensor to pressing any of the switch from this remote so let's press the button Okay, my LED slightly glowing and look at that some frequency on showing of my LED let's connect the capacitor to see the effect when the capacitor is connected with sensor now I'm check one capacitor this is 16 volt 100 microfarad I'm connecting this capacitor output of the sensor to negative side of my voltage source so you guys are see the my sensors receiving point are increased for using capacitor or my LED is glowing slightly better from PBS let's bias the three pin I receiving sensor so two types of LED IR receiving system is available one is this and second is this for this circuit that pin is positive and this is negative also this two pin is 5 volt and this is the output pin and this is also negative output pin and from this sensor this is positive this is negative and this is the signal point you guys are already know these two pin from both sensor are output pin these two pin are generating negative signal to receiving ir emitting diode radiation so these are negative signal creating so these are output of negative signal that's why i'm using the pnp transistor which are sensing the negative signal from base that's why i'm using 
BC557. Also, the first pin is collector, second pin is base, and third pin is emitter. Collector, base, emitter. Okay, my sensor is implanted. This is a um, piece of 5038. Okay, already I'm implanted my BC557 and PNP transistor. That's base are connected with output of my sensor pin. Okay, my transistor's collector point is connected with negative side of my voltage source and emitter is connected with my appliance like LED. So my circuit for this sensor is biased slightly better than previous. Okay, for this T-SOP I receiver circuit. This pin is BCC, this pin is ground and this is output of the sensor. So I have to connect this BCC with 5 volt of my voltage source and this ground will be connected with negative part of my voltage source. Ok my sensor pin is connected with my power source. Let's test the circuit. What is the effect of the pressing remote sensor? So you guys are seeing the, this range already better than previous. Ok my pressing any direction of my remote. My LED is already glowing. Let's have a look with connected with sensor and capacitor. Okay, my capacitor's negative side is connected with my sensor's output and positive side is will be directly connected with my positive side of my voltage source. Let's test whatever next. Okay, my LED is permanent situation and glowing continuously. Because when I pressing this button, this infrared sensor is receiving my infrared radiation from my remote and this is generating my negative signal and when this create a negative signal, the capacitor is steadily charging and this capacitor gradually discharging after displays from this button. That's why my LED is continuously glowing and this capacitor truly discharging and my LED is truly decreasing. Okay, let's test another TSOP 1738. For this TSOP BCC and middle point is ground and this left side of pin is output. This can generate negative signal when it feel IR emitting. Okay, my this sensor already implanted on my breadboard. I have some change for BCC and ground connection. This is ground, that's why this connected with my negative side of my voltage source. And this is BCC, that's why this is connected with my positive side of my voltage source. So this is connected with transistor base. Let's have test whatever next to facing the remote. Okay, it is similar like previous sensor. For this capacitor, my LED continuously glowing when it is discharging, my LED is gradually decreased. Let's have a look when removing capacitor or testing the circuit. Okay, now it's failed some frequency from my remote pressing the button. It is similar for previous. So guys, our Arduino projects are coming. They are using the types of sensors and working process how it is worked with your situation included this t-shop no more today thanks for watching see you in the next video